You're about to join a cold water dive into the green seas of Canada. Renowned for their astonishing, and some might say, unusual looking life. Your guide under the waves is diver and conservationist Tiare Boys. Are you ready to enter a world of wonder? Take a deep breath. We're about three meters below the surface at a site known as Browning Wall. I'm Tiari. I'll be your guide in these green seas. And over there, that's our dive buddy Danny. Keep your eyes open as there's so much to see here. Are you ready to start our descent? Down we go. I'll try to point out some of the cool species with my dive light. To your right, we're in a school of widow rockfish. On the wall, a purple ochre sea star. To your left, you can see a brilliant orange one. Can you see the jellyfish illuminated by my light? These are aggregating jellyfish. As we go down, we're now in more of a kelpie area and you can see some Puget Sound rockfish in between the kelp fronds. And down here, where I'm pointing with my light now, is some of the kelp species you find in these emerald waters. We have old growth kelp and split kelp growing here. Do you see the species changing as we go down the wall? If you look down, you can see a lot of white anemones. They look a bit like clouds. These are plumose anemones. And some of the color that Browning Wall is known for is starting to emerge. Do you see the yellow sulfur sponges below us? And red soft corals. Many people don't associate cold water diving and colorful corals. But we have our own brand here. Different than warm water, but just as beautiful. Don't you think? Let's go deeper. These nutrient-dense green seas support some really cool macro life. It also supports some fascinating giants. Right past that kelp greenling, there's a wolf feel. Look ahead, do you see? Look at the size of them. This is a male, and he's got his eye on a sea urchin. His strong jaws make quick work of the tough exoskeleton. Look beside him, do you see? There's a smaller, darker female. Wolf eels are thought to mate for life, or at least extended periods of time. They can live together in the same den for up to five to seven years. Let's leave these two alone to enjoy their snack and continue along our dive. Let's see what else we can find in these green seas. Look to your right. There's a giant Pacific octopus the largest known species of octopus in the world. He's well camouflaged. Their pupils, unlike ours, are square and can adjust to light by changing shape. Hang on a sec. I'm just gonna adjust my light so it's not too bright for him. All right. Giant Pacific octopus are perfectly adapted for life on our cold water reefs. Can you see it changing as he moves along? 
their ability to camouflage by changing both their color and their texture allow them to hide from predators such as sea lions and other marine mammals. Right in front of the octopus, you can see a leather star and a mottled star. It's moving amongst plumos and enemies. Giant Pacific octopus are fascinating. Their intelligence is thought to be similar to that of a common house cat. Each of their arms has separate nerve bundles that are thought to think independently. This means it has both a central brain and eight other smaller brains in its arms. Octopus can eat a variety of things. Those eight arms can taste behind rocks and crevices for tasty morsels, such as crabs and scallops. All right, let's continue along on our dive. Encountering an octopus on a dive is always an incredible experience. And I think we're pretty lucky to have seen one on ours. Let's see what else we can find. As we move away, keep your eye on the octopus. Can you see him? He's blended completely in with his surroundings. The life we've encountered in these green seas is supported by a mighty ecosystem that surrounds us now. We're about to enter an underwater forest. Kelp forests and are home to so much amazing life. As we swim through it, keep your eyes open. We're swimming through many different species. I can see bull kelp, sugar rat kelp, and split kelp. Whoa! That's a stellar sea lion, and it looks like a young male. Keep a lookout behind us. He might make a reappearance. They can grow to be over three meters in length, making them the largest species of sea lion. Kelp forests provide Shelter for juvenile fish, habitat, food, and protection from predators. And what I love about kelp is that it also supports us. Not only protecting our coastlines from storms and rising sea levels, kelp absorbs carbon from the atmosphere. We're still learning about how much, but we know it's important as our ocean temperatures are continuing to rise with changing climate making our green seas a valuable part of our blue planet. <laughs>